So welcome guys, we're currently 5-0 in Platinum with Dark Magician as the best deck. Um, here is the ratio breakdown, double DM, triple souls, triple maxi, triple rod, triple ash blossom, double uh, albaz, double illusion of chaos, one upstart, but you can change that for anything you like, uh, double prep, double brand of fusion as the card is now at 2. Uh, we got one Salvation as our third copy of Eternal Soul, which is at two. We've got Triple Circle, Triple Super Poly, Double Called by the Grave, Triple Soul Servant, one Secrets of Dark Magic, Double Evenly Matched, and then, yeah, the two Eternal Soul, which we spoke about. Now, this is this goes against a lot of laws of things. I'm sure a lot of people are like, why are the three circle? Like, what are you doing? Um, but let's explain it. Well, because Branded Fusion is so good in this deck, if you open it, it's optimal because it makes Dragon Knight, but obviously you can only put this to two, which makes it a lot harder to achieve. So a lot of the time when we are activating Branded Fusion, it's off this guy here, Mr. Anaconda. This is the only reason I play Branded DM in uh, Master Duel, by the way. If, if Anaconda wasn't in Master Duel, I would not play Branded DM without Anaconda. I think Branded DM in TCG is a worse version of Branded. Uh, I think a lot of people would agree. And like, if you play it, nothing against you, like, have fun, go go nuts. But I just feel like, you know, at that point, you're better off playing a Lubas instead of Rod, you're better off playing Opening instead of... Yeah, you, know, you get my point. Like, you can just fill the deck with better cards at that point. Um, yeah, let's talk about why Triple Circle and the, the Eternal Soul stuff is going on here. I love DM. I really do. Anaconda makes it so Rotten Souls actually can go into a combo now, like in the TCG when we summon Dragoon off them. Obviously, now we're sending Brand of Fusion, which always has to summon uh, Mirror Jade. Now, with your Mirror Jade, sometimes that's all you have. One Banish. So, I maxed out on Circle Eternal Soul, because they're the cards I want to see, so I can actually achieve the Dark Magician Banish as well, and still call this a Dark Magician deck. Which sounds kind of weird, and definitely against everything I've said in the past, but I'm having so much fun with it. And honestly, Albaz is such a good normal summon. Sometimes you have to normal this, and it's actually amazing. Aside from that, um, yeah, like, Triple Circle is bad. Like, we know this. But it's just, it's fun. It's working for me so far. Um, and yeah, it combos really well with Illusion of Chaos. Obviously, Illusion of Chaos can go search something and then put it on top of the deck, and Circle can add it back. So it's really cool. Circle can add back all your spell traps or vanilla DM. So sometimes you just can do that and abuse Circle a bit. Um... And I've found in this format, Circle dies a lot. Circle Eternal Soul gets uh, smashed a lot right now. It's it's a bit grim. So I've maxed out on them, which is definitely not a loser thing to do. But anyway, it's been working. Like, I've enjoyed it. And the, the other reason is Dragon Knight is so much easier to make in this build. Obviously, you still have to open a Branded Fusion. But when you do, when you do open that Branded Fusion, you need to see that Circle and Eternal Soul. Or, like, summoning this is pointless, right? So... You know, that's how it be. Yeah. Well, look, if this was TCG, I wouldn't be playing Triple Circle, let me tell you that. And if Anaconda wasn't here, I wouldn't be playing Triple Circle, let me tell you that. But we've got a lot of cards that help support us, even if we don't open the good cards here. So we've got Maxi, because this card's ridiculous, and it just means you can do whatever you want. Um, so I think with Maxi, this justifies some ratios to some degree. Ash Blossom is a very good card you want to draw into off your Maxi. Super Poly is another card you want to draw into. Um, these are just our going second cards. So we have Triple Maxi, Triple Ash, Triple Super Poly, and two Evenly. And the reason for these is these are obviously very good cards, but if you brick on them, it sucks. And you can just send them away uh, with Magician Souls for draws, though, so that's really cool. And the reason I went the 3 2 split is because I feel like Super Poly's better right now. Oh, yeah, we got Call by. We got Double Call by here. But yeah. Super Poly just feels better because you can win games with it. This is kind of like a retake the board and then build your board and hope your opponent can't out it. But this is just like a kill your opponent right now. And out this stuff. I don't know. It feels better, and it it's it's on theme with a lot of the DM um, fusion monsters. And obviously, branded fusion got cut to two, so I did change a lot of the DM stuff. So uh, the branded stuff, I should say. So mirror jade at one, um, lubelian at one, and albion at one. That's the only fusions I'm playing. So once mirror jade sends that albion for its effect, that is the only other copy of branded fusion in my deck. So I figured let's get rid of the other guy we we're playing before. I don't even remember his name, but the dragon guy. Who's a good super poly target for when you normal Albaz. But anyway, um, I think you only need these three now. And typically, when I have this uh, brand of fusion and I've already, I can't make another fusion with it, I just send it for draws of Magician Souls and it's been fine. And really, just super poly having three targets has been really good. These two targets are obviously good, but you need that Starving Venom to push for games sometimes, in my opinion. And you can also Secrets into Starving Venom, which a lot of people forget. 
um, which can actually give you game as well, or it'll give you this awesome effect to blow the field, so it's really good, uh, in case your opponent uh, outs this guy. Because if this sum fusion summon card is destroyed, destroy your opponent's special summon monsters. So it works well with Mirror Jade, who also says, you know, um, if this card, fusion summon card, leaves the field because of opponent's card, destroy all their monsters. So it's nice having these combat cards in the deck. Um, this is the purest form of DM, I think. Obviously, there's still a branded engine, but it's it's literally four cards, right? It's four main deck cards. It's two Albaz, two Branded Fusion, and that's just because Mirror Jade is such an oppressive card and super, super good for, you know, making Rod and Souls do something on their own, because otherwise you get hand-trapped and you do nothing. Oh my god, got any grapes? And L. Elric, thank you for becoming DM Royals in the chat. You guys are kinging. You guys are kinging right now. Man. Absolute legends in here. Sorry, I know I'm mid-deck profile, but you guys are the best. Let's look at the other extra deck cards real quick. Obviously, Anacon is your main piece. You really want to be making this every turn. One with Rod and Souls. If you can't get to it, sometimes you just have to normal a hand trap or an Albaz to try to get there. If you can't do that, or if you get hand trapped on the Anaconda, that's okay. Normally you can bait the Anaconda uh, the, the Imperms and Veilers with Rod's effect and Magician Soul sending to draw. Your opponent will normally hand trap those and think you're a scummy like noob DM player. And then you just go in Anaconda and you rip them a new one and pump out this guy and you just win the game. So if you're not making Anaconda, you're probably only open Rod and you're going to make Artemis link it away. If you need a loop DM, you've got your I'm Doc here, that's what he's there for. Doc obviously doing link climb things into Selene access code for going second. If you need uh, further ideas about this, uh, further information, sorry, and I'm not being thorough, check out my other videos. I just made a video on links in DM, so that'll go over all of that. But in terms of the DM fusions, we play the one Master of Chaos, the one Dark Magicians, one Dark Magician, the Dragonite. That's all you need, really. The other ones are pretty mid to bad, or just too situational. Dragonite, if you have your Circle Eternal Soul and you see your Brain Infusion, you just win in the game there most of the time, unless you get evenly. And you got Dark Magicians. This card's just insane, right? Um, it can generate so much value if you have spells and traps up, but it also suffers from the problem as a lot of DM cards, we just don't have a good way to summon it for like an efficient resource. Like a one card fusion spell into this would be balanced as, and no one would mind, but it just hasn't happened yet, sadly. Master of Chaos, really good card for pushing for game. So if you really want to do that, this is what this guy's here for. You do need an Illusion of Chaos in the hand to do it, but if you open your Illusion of Chaos with Souls or Rod and just any other card to put back on top of the deck, you can OTK pretty comfortably with this card a lot of the time. Now, you do need to have some things go right and the board to be clear, but it's just about putting the, the uh, big amounts of damage on the board to deal with your opponent's trash. Now, of course, Super Poly and Evenly Match will also help you to either uh, you know OTK your opponent or just destroy their stuff so you can set up your own loop, your own Dark Magician loop, and then just win the game from there. Our super poly targets are Starving Venom for pushing for game, but then you've also got Garura, which can push for game, but it can also get you a draw, and it's also just very generic, and then Mud Dragon, just a generic one, very weak, but uh, can protect your Anaconda effect, for those who don't know, you can use this quick effect, declare dark, and then if you manage to get into Anaconda with this still on the field, they cannot Imperm or Veiler uh, the Anaconda, which is kind of nice. Hasn't come up in Master, or used to come up in TCG a lot of Instant Fusion this out, but obviously Instant Fusion is banned here, because Tier Element exists. Um, so yeah, another card I cut was Village because no terraforming anymore makes it a lot brickier and a lot of the time we end our turn on either Dragon Knight or Mirror Jade, which is not a spellcaster chat. So <laughs> that's just how it is. Could I get everyone to drop their Chad Magicians in the chat for the end of this deck profile? Thank you so much for tuning in to the stream and those who are watching this as a video. Um, I will have, you know, an updated deck profile if we do get to the Fat Diamond. But for now, this is the Platinum Dark Magician and also Branded uh, deck profile from Loza. And it's got some questionable ratios that uh, <laughs> uh, Loza wouldn't approve of, would he? But that's okay. That's all right. We're, it's change, you know? Sometimes you got to do some different things. Anyway, I think that's it for the deck profile. I'll catch you guys soon.